President of the Senate, Senator Gotsi Lokwabio, has called upon Nigerian institutions of estate surveyors and valuers to take decisive action against exploitation of citizens by quack real estate agents. He highlighted the detrimental impact of such exploitations on citizens and stressed the importance of regulatory measures to ensure transparency and protection in property transactions across the country. Our correspondent, Assam Raffle, has details. Speaking at the inaugural lecture of the 26th President and Chairman of the Nigeria Institution of Estate Surveyors and Valuers, ESV Victor Adekunle Alonge in Abuja, with the team, role of professional bodies in microdevelopment, Nigeria's renewed hope perspective, Senator Pabio highlighted the critical role the real estate sector plays in driving economy. There is no doubt that the institution will continue to strive and spearhead the transformation of the built environment. However, let us employ the Nigerian Institute of Estate Surveyors and Valuers to lead the charge in coping the exploitation of tenants by real estate agents. And this happens particularly in bustling cities like Lagos and Abuja. We look to this esteemed organization to establish integrity, to establish discipline, and bring the culprits to book so that your image will not be tarnished. Leader of the Senate, Senator Michael Opeyemi Bamidele, and the representative of Vice President lent their voices to calls for greater service delivery from the institution. As such, they have a critical role to play in shaping the future of our nation. Therefore, I implore them to continue to provide advice to government on policies that are capable of driving economic growth, promoting social cohesion, and enhancing national security. It is evident that Nigeria could do a lot better in terms of appreciating asset values and seeking to optimize their values. Through this kind of keen effort, Singapore's Temasek has been able to take his asset under management from less than $1 billion in 1974 to $250 billion today. Everything gets valued from monuments to a country's national anthem to the pledge to the flag. If it is unique and precious to you as an asset, then it has, it had best be valued and brought closer to a market that can help in optimizing its worth. Governor Babajide Sangwalu of Lagos State and the Minister of Finance, Mr. Wale Edun, underscored the significance of Nigeria's real estate sector. Whilst in other spheres, real estate issues and fees and, 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 and transactions typically will do 15 to 20 percent of GDP. Here in Nigeria, we're still doing about 5 to 6 percent. So meaning that there's still a lot of work that we all have to do. You all have to do as professionals. We are in a situation where we have had to take hold of the government's revenue, totally reorganize it, apply technology, open up areas where government revenue was not being collected in Naira and in dollars. All those flows are now coming in because we have re-engineered the whole process, not just on the revenue side, but on the expenditure side. The 26th president of the institution, ESV Victor Adekunle Alonge, emphasized real estate's contribution to the national GDP. The process of real estate sector in Nigeria continually stifles its capacity to optimally contribute to national economic growth. Impliedly, the potential of real estate sector as a catalyst of economic growth remains largely untapped in the country. Our institution will therefore step up our support and collaboration with government, especially in the areas of policy formulation and implementation, land administration, asset valuation and management, housing, project and infrastructure development, among others, to improve real estate sector's contribution to our economic development. The highlight of the event was award presentation to deserving individuals. Awesome Raffle, ADBN News.